All right, what is up, guys? It is me, Half Wolf. And so I've been pretty busy lately. So I have uh, pretty big things on the way. I'll talk about them later. But I'm gonna go ahead and start the heist. I have everything I need, and uh, let's just get it going. Hey guys, let's head down there and win those <laughs> from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. You heard him. Gonna get this underway. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this game up. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. You look like a record? Just for the record. It's stupid easy though. It's one thing. It's the next one that's like, like really hard. You need to chop strong if you hope to beat me. Huh. Come on, bro. Watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Yeah, that was just plain BS. I don't understand how I lost that. Oh, and it gets harder. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. If they don't swoop in on me first. And it's funny because I'm gonna make it there just in the nick of time too. There's no other quicker way to get over there. Cause you're gonna like waste most of your time trying to dodge eagles, so and you got the glaciers and you have no control over that. Scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. I would have still uh, gave him a zero, just because. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Are you descending? We should be ascending. Go. Pretty good for a school. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. It's right at the tippy tip tip. To be sawed. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. It's probably the only episode I'm gonna uh, record today. How did I get him? So yeah, this is the uh, this is actually the hardest uh, part of this uh, heist. Trying to get all three of them. Usually it takes me a couple tries, but I got it right there. Um, 
it especially for you. Seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? You're so whipped. I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Yo, if you saw in the background, uh, you can go back in the video a couple seconds. Uh, like, go back a couple seconds. You can still see the egg there. That's funny, yo. Um, let's go. It's like early in the morning, too. Your legs of yours just can't move fast enough. Well, at least I got a three, though. That's like the first time I felt that in like a while. So, yeah. I just gotta try to stay in the middle. Try not to move so much. Just pay attention to which ones dip down. Just try to move, uh, maneuver around. What the fuck? Dip in them icy Canadian waters. Actually, did. Oh, how cold the water is. Just on instinct, I knew that one wasn't going to uh, go down. Maybe cheating if I use, uh, will even let me use my hover pack. Turtles aren't good at nothing. So we can't just walk away with the nine. Alright. That was nice. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. It's coming on me. I'm like a fat woman at a club. One lucky turtle. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Genius! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Why? You can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. It's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up.
Any other gadgets? Nah, I don't want to put him uh, to sleep. We don't have to come all the way out there. And he's got loot in his pocket too. Too bad we can't. Uh, we don't have the opportunity to pick it because we're uh, in the middle of a mission. God, how far do you have to go? I was about to say, you're like right there. Luckily, this doesn't even take up enough gadget power. Or take up a lot of gadget power. It should be the final. Oh. What? And you would think that, uh, uh they, he would notice them too. Thank you. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a sec. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Bisson! On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out with- <laughs> Now I have to try not to get hit by my own traps. I'm gonna do this. Ooh, 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 ooh. A little too close, a little too close. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this farming. I wish I could use my sleep darts. I can't use any gadgets. Now there's a other pack. Laughing 
so hard I threw up at this point. It was so funny. It wasn't really that bad. It was like, like too bad. It was just like a little uh like little juice. It's a bitty pit. To the future. Damn near half my health. Dynamite turtle. Oh, and Hugh Dynamite throwing action. That's probably going to be the death of me, to be honest. Nope. Dynamite. Puny little His eyes just, like, dilated. I don't know, it was really weird. Sex, uh, to, uh, do it again, but... Whatever. Guess that's life. Yep. Boys, let's and that takes off half your health. That shit's crazy, yo. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get away from the corner. Say. Wish I didn't have to like look behind me the whole time though. These camera angles on the slide too, they can get a little bit tricky. Come on. You start throwing your little dynamite. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look like dynamite. Got hit by my own log. Hit him with the flame. Come on, boys. Let's get hit him with that uh that young that young Jeezy Lil Wayne 2004 mixtape. That flame. This should be it. Nope. One more. One more. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Broad. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Let's kick it off, shadow of we can't do it. I know. Gold medal liberalist. Yo, I wonder if someone like sang a song and um oh we got the adrenaline burst. They sang a song with their own voice and they still and they got a copyright claim on their YouTube video. That's that'll be so funny, bro. <laughs> but uh I'm about to uh end it here. It's half wolf game and uh, subscribe, like, do all that fancy stuff, and, uh, just have a good day. Peace!
As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him.